Hi, this is our Breatherium Pranic Retreat in the Canary Islands 2017. Uh, we woke up this morning and had a beautiful Qigong allowing the energy just to flow through us. And for this retreat, our whole goal is to raise our vibration or raise our frequency as we call it. Now we're going to have a conversation about this or a teaching and everybody is teaching because life and teaching is in all of us. And we got to see is vibration and frequency on a metaphysical level is the same thing or are these interchangeable in how we use them? What do we mean by I'm going to raise my frequency or I'm going to raise my vibration? What does this mean? So we're going to go into this and to start off, I'm going to start off my definitions and first of all let me give it give an example it's sort of like you're on this airplane and it's these two people who don't know each other one man is looking out the window looking at the clouds but life is a disaster he's thinking about back home he's going through a divorce he's thinking about what job he's going to get next he don't got nowhere to live so this is where his mindset is as he's sitting on his airplane there's a man sitting on the other side who's looking out the window, looking at the clouds, and he's saying to himself, look how beautiful those clouds are. Look how beautiful the sun, are, sun is. Boy, life is sure good. So these two men is on the same plane. They don't know each other. They got two different thought processes. So I look at the thought process as being the frequency that they're on in their thinking. The vibration is being the external plane that they're on. They're sharing the same vibrational frequency by being in the same space. But they're on different frequencies of thought because they don't know each other, nor they might not even have a conversation because they're not on the same frequency. One is thinking about how good life is, the other one is thinking about the disaster. Now, let's just bring another scenario in. The one who's thinking about how good life is, he starts talking to somebody else about how good life is. These two frequencies met because they have something in common. But the guy who's what? Life is a disaster. Met another guy who, you think your life is bad, you should hear this. All right. These two frequencies met. Now, they all share in the same vibrational space, but they don't meet due to the frequency of thought they own. They only meet the, the frequency of thought that they're catering to. So that's how I'm starting it all. So right now we got our other people here, some agreeing and some got more to say. So let's start off with who want to start off first. We got Wally, we got Angeline, and we got Sabrina. I'm Blackie. <laughs> and Blackie the dog. Blackie. <laughs> All right, so you can start it off, Wally. I know you got something to say good. All right, so to me, frequency is frequency is about it's about what you're thinking, but it directly correlates to the concept of a vibration because your frequency affects your vibration. If you're looking at life in a positive way and you want to improve, then you're going to increase your vibration at the same time. And I think the most important thing is to never become stagnant. You know, mm -hmm. to never reach a point where you think you're at the end that you should stop. Because then your frequency stops and your vibration stops also. You can't have a high frequency and have a low vibration. I just don't think it works that way. And you can't have a high vibration and then have a low frequency. They work together. And your vibration, I mean, you can look at someone. And just by the way they look, you can see what type of life they live. Or what they think about themselves. Or what they think about the world. And that's how I would define it. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Now I got some things on that, but we'll bring it right back. Let's keep the circle moving. Because mm. I like that. Just, All right. Just Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> you, Angeline. Yeah, we were just talking about this, and, you know, it seems like I really agree that that frequency and vibration affect each other, and I think that maybe that the frequency is sort of like the quality or the experience of the vibration that we're carrying, that the vibration is sort of like the input of energy, whereas the frequency is sort of the experience of that energy and that vibration can either be extremely dense 
or that vibration can be you know more light energy and the frequency that we carry is the is how we kind of experience that that lightness or that density and yeah so everything has a frequency now we say that scientifically everything gives off a frequency but we also say the universe vibrates now is there a correlation with this dealing with different foods mm -hmm. all foods have a vibration <clears throat> And all foods give off a frequency. All people have a frequency or a vibration. So is there an effect when these two get together? The organism and what it's consuming. Well, of course it must be. Hmm. Does this coordinate with health? It must be. This think is, about it. We got to think about <laughs> it. <laughs> but we're talking about at these retreats, we're raising our frequency or vibration. And what methods are we going about doing it? For number one, since this is breatharianism and pranic, we're what? Cutting out food altogether. But is there another way to receive frequencies and vibrations? This is the question we're asking. Is it far-fetched? Can a human being go to that level? Uh-oh. Because keep in mind that all truths is a half-truth. And all things could be challenged because we're in an age now where all knowledge is being challenged. Mm. And this morning as we was doing our Qigongs and we felt the vibration, our bodies vibrating, we all felt that. We're feeling the energy that's around us that we're in, working with the bodies, working with the organs. We're feeling the sensations. The sun started coming up. So, and, and we see that our eyes is doing more than just vision. They're also bringing in nutrition. We're feeling more energized. Now, nobody here ate breakfast. It is almost what? We've been up running around for the longest, feeling good, talking about some good stuff. <laughs> so what are we feeding off of? What vibration? What frequency? And how long can we go on it? What is this journey about? Uh-oh. This is what we're dealing with. So you got any thoughts, Sabrina? Frequency or vibration? No, leave some comments. <laughs> 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 And the dog, he's having a good time. He's up here <laughs> feeling all this energy. Yeah, even if he was partying last night. So they say a frequency and vibration goes hand in hand. And it's impossible to have one type of frequency and another type of vibration. Mm. Wow. I mean, it's like there is a lot of vibration, right? Mm -hmm. And up to your frequency, you go in that vibration. Hmm. But... It goes against the analogy I gave because I'm talking about these people are on a plane mm -hmm. on the same vibration because I looked at it as the environment. Yeah, yeah. But their frequency of thought was different, so it changed the perception on how the plane ride was. Mm -hmm. And that changes the environment. Mm -hmm. and that changes the environment. That's the thing about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone who's riding a plane could be having a terrible time, but that's how they perceive the environment. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, if I have a higher vibration than you, that doesn't mean I'm going to be on a different planet. You mm -hmm. know, that just means yeah. I'm in the same place, but I'm viewing it differently. And I'm creating different things. I mean, if I see something in the environment that you don't see, right. in mm -hmm. a sense, I created that because I'm looking for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And that's, that's how I view it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And see, it's just like the last retreat we had. We dealt with breaking preconceptions of what people thought a breath therein was. Mm -hmm. And all we said is a person who learned a way to take their vehicle to uh, utilize another form of energy. So it's sort of like when a car is in a parking lot, one car is on gas using fossil fuels, but another car will pull right beside it and it's running off of solar energy. Because people think a breath in is living a life totally separate from these other vehicles. You're not allowed to be with the other vehicles. You're supposed to be in a mountain somewhere. <laughs> but we're trying to tell you, no, this solar car could come in the same parking lot with the other cars just running off another form of energy. Mm -hmm. So it could break these preconceptions. Yeah, you could be in the movies and, uh, you know, with one vehicle on fossil fuels. And then another car pulls up, uh, feeding off of water power. They're in the same movies watching the same movie. <laughs> different perceptions using a different fuel. Mm -hmm. So that's a preconception is being broken. When people are saying, oh, you breathed in. You're not supposed to be here, not supposed to be doing that. 
And you're saying, I'm just using another energy source. But you're still a human being. You just chose and reconditioned yourself to transform the vehicle to run off another energy source. Do that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just breaking the preconceptions and this is what these videos is all about. We're going to have a lot more and as each day go past, you're going to see our vibration going off more and more. My hair should probably be like Wally's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for one. Yeah. And we're going to keep going higher. So talk to y'all later and we hope to hear your comments. Yep. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>